How's it going, guys? It's Derek Swain Jr. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you guys ring that bell so you get a notification every time that I upload. We got a whole lot to talk about today. So what I got to talk to you guys about primarily is some of the trials and tribulations that you're going to see in real estate. Now, this may be rare. I may be the only person that may experience this that tunes in. Hey, who knows who's out there? So what happened with my listing? My listing was a fix and flip. It was on the market. We had two offers accepted and we had an issue with the squatter. So that was going to be complicated in this whole transaction because of COVID. But during New Year's weekend, I got a phone call from the guy that owns the lot next to the property. It was that the, the property caught fire? So I understood it as like, you know, just maybe some type of fire damage. But when I got to the property, it was completely gone. There's a basement, uh, uh, there was a basement in the prop on the property and you can see the bottom of the basement. I mean, here's pictures you guys can check out. The entire basement, the entire house was gone. I mean, I thought it was just maybe would be rubble on top of each other, but it was just completely gone. I have a very humble seller. I have a very patient seller. I mean, it is a probate listing, so it's already, you know, a process. But I say that to say it's, it's always going to be a bump in the road. It's always going to be something that just shakes you up a bit. So this is my second listing from the same seller. She had two properties that she needed to list for her father. Right after we closed on one of the properties, we dealt, had this issue and she is phenomenal with corresponding and being in contacting and coordinating with the city and just making sure that everything is cleaned up and we can proceed with the sale. For most new agents, you may can be shaken up by this. Me, I have a different kind of patience when it comes to this. So when it happened, you know, I just called my broker and see if there was anything that I needed to do specifically to help. Usually, you know, you, you let the city and you let insurance and you let your seller handle it accordingly and you follow her lead in situations like this. Real estate can be challenging. It is challenging. Buying, selling, helping someone buy and sell, it can be challenging, but how you react to it can make all the difference. So me and my seller, man, it, I, it, I felt great um, because as soon as I got the call and I started heading to the property, um, I called her, let her know what was going on. Just like me, she thought it was maybe, you know, not a minor issue, but you know, just something, okay, it was already fixed and flip, maybe just some more damage on top of the damage. And I had to, I sent her pictures right away and yeah, couldn't, couldn't believe, couldn't believe that the house was completely gone. I just want you guys to know that no matter what comes your way, it's there for a reason. And the result is how you react to it. You know, in this situation, I, I was just patient. I was just thankful to still have a listing. I was still thankful that she still wanted to sell and still use me, you know? Um, she could have just com completely canceled but we are still moving forward with the process. One of the biggest things I want you guys to take from this video is just things happen. Shit does happen. No matter what it is, whether if it's a big situation as far as your listing completely burning down or you're just having an issue picking up that phone and prospecting. No matter what it is, just react accordingly. Matter of fact, let me, let me change that. Don't react, respond. No matter what it is. No matter what happens, just respond. And if you need some assistance, tell yourself, hey, let me give you a call right back. I'm gonna partner with my broker and see how we handle this situation. If you don't know, if you've never handled this type of situation before. For me, it's, it's primarily, I'm here to help. I'm not here to make anything difficult. I'm not here to get in the way. So you let everyone do their job. You let insurance handle everything. You let your seller handle the things that she needs to handle. And if she needs your help, offer that. So I hope you guys took something from this video. I love what I do. And that's why I, I give this back. 
I don't ever share anything that I haven't experienced. I don't ever speak on something that I haven't done or been through myself. So I wanted to make this video so you guys can see and learn how to get through those humps. As a new agent or as an agent that's just, uh, that hit a wall, that's not seeing the deals and that's not seeing the prospecting being worth it. I want you guys to really be prepared. It's a process. Every realtor that's a veteran will tell you they've had deals that were smooth. They've had deals that closed in two weeks. They've had deals where they almost did nothing. And they've had deals that were hard. They had deals that were deals that they never wanted to ever go through again. But it's about going through it. It's about experiencing. And that's what I want to share with you guys. Go through it. Fall. Make sure you get back up. And it's just as simple as that. Real estate is not easy, whether you're looking to buy or sell or whether if you're on the real estate agent side, but it's up to me to make it as smooth as possible for my clients. So I, it, so it should never be smooth for you unless, you know, everything on the lender side, everything goes together. But you make sure you take that responsibility for your clients and just go through it. It's going to be hard. So what? There's not one realtor that's successful and they don't appreciate that time. When my broker can see it on my face, he see that, oh man, that, that round of cold calling was, was, was rough on you. He always can go back to, you know, him not having to do that no more. He, cause he been there, he, he's done that. And you know, it's just my job to get there and to be as, as successful, if not more. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys ring that bell. So you're receiving notifications every time that I upload. I love what I do and I love sharing what I do. You guys have a great day and stay safe.